Oh my, some would call the National Weather Service. We had an unanticipated storm in the building tonight. Homeboy was raining threes down on those fools. Bam, 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 one after another. They lose track of you and boom, another one. That was sweet to see. You keep shooting like that, it's gonna make a huge difference for us. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Don't give me that all shucks act now. Not after a game like that. Hey, I'm just trying to help the team win, bro. And you did. Good job. Thanks, dog. What are you smiling about? Life's good. I'm hitting my stride right now. I'm just happy to be balling. That's why I called you in here. You have been balling. If you keep producing like this, I see no reason why you won't be in the starting lineup before long. We always try to be careful with the new guys, make sure they fit our system the way we want them to. But it seems like just a matter of time for you. How does that sound? Coach, I'll do whatever you ask me. If it's providing a spark off the bench, great. If it's starting, even better. Good answer. Now get out of here. <laughs> you know, life's a funny thing. Whatever you say, boss. <laughs> a couple of months ago, I never even heard of you. A few weeks ago, I was certain you were a one-and-done guy. You know, have your cup of coffee in the bigs and then disappear never to be heard from again. And now? Now! Well, now I'm going to tell you that I was wrong not to draft you. And I was silly to offer you only a 10-day contract. And you know, I, I was mistaken to think you were only here to have a cup of coffee. So, you're saying what I think you're saying? Yeah, yeah, I'm saying we're offering you a guaranteed contract for the rest of the season. Heck yeah! Man, that's what I'm talking about right there! Thanks, you're not gonna regret this. I'm telling you, I'm gonna make this organization so proud. Good, good, listen. You got this opportunity because uh, you've been working your tail off out there. You know, you keep doing what you're doing and, uh, you know, there's no limit to, to what you can achieve. Uh, you got it? Yes, sir, I do. Get out of here. Thanks again. Get out of here. Welcome to the film room, everybody. Coach wanted me to give you all a little breakdown on some of the key points of emphasis strategies we'll be using moving forward. As you know, the entire staff feels it's important to review the basics from time to time, giving everyone a better understanding of what coach is expecting when you're out on the floor. It's going to help the team win more games. Simple as that. Now let's get to it, gentlemen. Getting to the basket and playing physical on defense. So here we go. Now there are times when coach is going to want us to really focus on getting to the basket. We have some talented players on this team who are capable of getting to the rim just about any time because of their ball handling, speed, and ability to finish inside. When we run into a team that has weak perimeter defenders or is not very good at defending the rim, coach is going to want us to go strong to the hoop whenever possible. Now let's take a look at some game film showing how we can try and get to the rim for some easy baskets. Here we've got a nice dribble drive play. The ball handler takes his defender off the dribble and gets all the way to the basket for an easy bucket. When we go up against a team with poor on-ball defenders or a team that's not good at protecting the rim, we need to be able to take advantage. And on this next play, look how the ball handler sees a lane open up to the basket and quickly attacks before the defense can react. Easy score. If you've got a lane, attack. No hesitation. Keep these examples in mind when coach says he wants us to focus on getting to the basket. Okay, up next, playing physical. We've got some very physical players who like to use their bodies against weaker, smaller teams. We should be looking to take advantage of those size and strength mismatches by wearing out our opponents over the course of the game. Now let's look at some films so you guys can see what playing physical on the defensive end looks like in action. Here we go. 
See the defender pressing up on the ball handler? He's not giving him any room to move. You need to be up tight on the ball. Make sure you put a body on them to slow them down. The more physical we play, the better our chances of winning become. On this next play, the defender is down low, bumping his man out of the paint and further from the basket. That's what we need to do when coach asks us to play physical. When they're on offense, we need to lean on them all the time and just keep wearing them down. Okay, that's going to do it for today. There's no excuse not to know what's expected of you when coach calls for either of these points of emphasis in a game. See you at practice. You got it, coach.